What's the deal, YouTube? What's the deal, PlayStation Nation? This is your boy, Michi Battle. In the background is some Disgaea 5 gameplay. And I'm here today to give you the truth about PlayStation Now. Now, I shouldn't have to be the one to make this video. But because I have perspective, I'm going to do it to save people the trouble of thinking too hard. Because people are making way too much out of way too little. First off, I'd like to say welcome to the video for those of you who are maybe new to, to my channel. Thank you for stopping by for for my subscribers. Thank you for watching the video. And there's probably some haters out there too. I'm not going to call you haters because you're watching the video. Thank you for your support as well. <clears throat> now that that's out the way. <clears throat> there's been a lot of talk going back and forth since Xbox now has backwards compatibility and they're comparing their backwards compatibility to PS now <clears throat> and you have a a lot of people comparing the services when they really shouldn't be compared you have a lot of people saying oh well Xbox is better because it has backwards compatible games I don't have to pay for my games I get to play them for free blah 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 and that's fine that's good <clears throat> backwards compatibility is good and if you've owned the games before that's fine I'm glad you can play them but PlayStation now isn't backwards compatibility <clears throat> excuse me first off PlayStation now was the killer of the Xbox 360 there's people who through the course of a console didn't get the game too much I know a couple of people that, that are older and they work a lot and they don't have time to game often, but when they do, they get in as much gaming as possible and they weren't really up on all the, the newest games and stuff like that. And some of them hadn't even upgraded yet. <clears throat> PlayStation Now is for people like that. It's for the person who's a mobile gamer. And he likes to take his Vita on the job, but he takes his Vita on the road. He plays whenever he can get a connection on Wi-Fi. Outside of the games that he might have on his, uh, saved on his memory card. If he has a, a spot, he can sit down and get the Wi-Fi connection. Hit that PlayStation Now library up. 264 games. There you go. All streamable to the Vita for play. You might have to map some buttons. But still. You can play on the Vita. For the people with PS3s who didn't get a lot of games. And coming close to the to the launch of the PS3 and the PS, I said the PS3, launch of the PS4 and the Xbox One, they decided not to buy any more PS3 games. Most of those games that came out at the end of the PS3, well, the beginning of the PS4 and Xbox One, excuse me again, those games are available on PS now. For the people who are converting from the Xbox 360 and never played PS3 to the PS4 and they miss games like The Last of Us uh, The Uncharted Collection The God of Wars for the people that miss those games the, the infamouses the people that miss those games and they were like I wish I could go back and play them since I'm on PlayStation now $15 gets you a month, $45 gets you three. You can play all of those games for the price of maybe buying The Last of Us Remastered, for the price of buying The God of War Remastered, for the price of buying The Uncharted Collection, you can get 264 games instead of playing a remaster. For people that hate remasters, just get the original game and play it. People find so many reasons to knock stuff that they really don't focus on its benefits. Like, let's take the person like me who had a PS3 and I buy whatever game I want because I'm able to. PlayStation Now doesn't benefit me much. There's some games that I hadn't played before, but there's some games that I have. That's like somebody told me, oh, look, I can play Sonic CD now backwards compatible. So? I had a Sega CD. 
I don't care if you can play Sonic CD on Xbox 360 or on Xbox One. I don't care if it's on PlayStation now. I had the original. It's cool to see. But for a person who's already had it, it means nothing. And it's the same thing. For people that already had these games, I can understand that they might want to play them again. And they would want them to be a part of their library. And they would, would like to have access to games that they paid for. But PlayStation Now isn't for that. And the service isn't for you. It's sad for me to say it. But it's not for you if you're trying to play games that you used to own. Or that you might currently own. That's that's not what it's for. Uh, for people who might have gotten PS3s in 2013. Uh, in the 2013 or in 2013 or 2014. Those very unfortunate few who picked up one in 2015 264 games currently available right now at your fingertips if you have a ps4 and you just got a ps4 and you don't have a lot of games 264 games at your fingertips of course you have to pay a fee to get access to them why shouldn't you 264 games at your fingertips People are excited about EA Access. Why? I don't know. They're going to tell you it's a good value. The library brings a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You pay $30 for a year of EA Access. For what? 13 games? 264 games. 264 at your disposal not just EA games at your fingertips there's people who who just be like I wish I had this game I wish I could go back and play Infamous right now you can go play Infamous right now you don't have a PS3 but you want to play Infamous are you going to go get a PS3 to buy Infamous so you can own it? I wouldn't. I'd drop the fifteen dollars, play Infamous, and whatever else I want to play in that library of two sixty-four. People went and bought Rare Replay, and this, for the life of me, I will not understand. People were excited about Rare Replay. They said, "Look at the value you get in Rare Replay. You get to own thirty games for thirty dollars." How many of those games are people playing? Who went back and played Attic Attack? Got all the trophies. You can probably count those people on two hands. Nobody was talking about Attic Attack. Nobody was talking about those older games. People weren't playing RC Pro-Am. I loved that game as a kid. But people weren't excited to play it. You know what everybody played? Conquer. <clears throat> all the Banjo fans. People talking about, we can't wait to get a new Banjo-Kazooie. Uh, yeah, Banjo-Kazooie. We can't wait to get a new one. Can't wait to get a new one. Get a Banjo remaster. Y'all didn't play it on Rare Replay. You beautiful Katamari people. Where were y'all at? You weren't playing those games. You hyped it up. You spent $30 for some games you didn't want to play. And you probably traded Rare Replay in. Which is a shame. That you went out... <clears throat> And you paid thirty dollars for it, and probably traded it in for ten or twelve. So you spent about fifteen, eighteen, twenty dollars on it. With that money that you lost, you could have bought a month of PlayStation Now. Had access to at the time about a hundred and fifty games. If you would have did it today, two hundred sixty-four games. And who cares about the limit of time on them? <clears throat> this is the next gen of gaming. We shouldn't be looking forward to last gen games. However, if you want to play one, by all means, they're there. Again, I'm not knocking backwards compatibility. It's a great option to have. Is it going to sell consoles? Nope. <clears throat> this library of games you don't need a PS4 to use them 
So people quit saying this is backwards compatibility for the PS4. It is a service available for people to access PlayStation games. That's it. At the end of the day, that's all it is. People complain about uh, PlayStation now. And I just want to ask you this. <clears throat> you look in your house. You own movies, right? Some of those movies that you own, they're on Netflix. Do you complain about getting Netflix? Oh, I'm not going to get Netflix because I already own some of these movies, so I don't want to watch a movie that I may own. No, <clears throat> you don't complain. You watch Hulu, right? You can see the shows on TV, but you miss them. You can DVR them and keep a copy of them, but you don't. So what do you do? You watch it on Hulu. Do you complain? No. So why would you cry about PlayStation now? <clears throat> I know some of the PlayStation community is going to kill me. Yeah, but I own this game. I should be able to play it for free. You should have kept your PS3. Nobody told you to get rid of it. And you probably still have your PS3 at the house. You just don't play it. I have my PS3 at the house. I don't play it. But I do know there are games that I didn't own on the PS3. And I can have access to them. At the touch of a button. Streamed. Damn near instantly. To one of three places. My PS4. My PS3. Or my Vita. Game saves. In the cloud. So I take my game with me wherever I go. And trophy support. For these games that I'm streaming. That I don't own. I can still get credit for playing. And you want to knock that? When did we come, uh, become so sadiddy as, as gamers? It's like, do we just sit up, whine, and complain about everything? Is there always a dark side? There's never any light? I mean, come on, people. And we know, we know. The focus is on PlayStation now because the focus is on PlayStation. Everything that the Xbox has tried to do has been in an effort to keep up. But as you can see in the race, <clears throat> their subscriptions aren't as good. Their games they put out, they aren't as good. I can't tell you four games that have released on PS4 and the Xbox One that people have said the Xbox One version was better. <clears throat> I can't tell you four games that have sold more that were multi platinum And I'm not going to blame the install base because the Xbox community was the community of shooters. Don't tell me the whole time PlayStation gamers played more shooters. I mean, we all know that the Xbox One has been playing catch up this whole generation. <clears throat> it has transitioned from the console of shooters to the console of sports games. We know all you guys are playing are, are Madden and 2K and WWE. Uh, and that's fine. <clears throat> but with a service like PlayStation Now, you would be able to go back to all your favorite games for the price of EA Access to just be like, hey, I want to play this today. Hey, I want to play that. And it might only be for three months for $30. Oh, I said $30. For $45, well, $30 will get you two months. Okay, for two months, <clears throat> $30, you get access to 264 games as opposed to, to 13. And we shouldn't even hear your mouth because you paid for a subscription to get access to games that were available in a library to play and you have more than enough to keep you busy. So, I close the video with this. PlayStation now, is it backwards compatibility? No. Stop comparing it to it. What PlayStation now is, is a library of games at your disposal should you choose to use it. It's optional. But should you choose to use it, you have 264 games you can play. Unlimited use for up to a month or up to three months. If you want to keep playing, just renew the subscription. You go right back to it. Your, your game save, so you don't have to worry about losing your data. You okay? <clears throat> it's your boy Michi Battle, Xbox Catch Up, PlayStation Nation, you rock. 
and I'm gone. I can't find my controller. Where's my controller at? Oh, here you go. 